thug promises to assassinate Trump on video if he doesn't do one thing for him within 24 HRS, backfires immediately. OMG, now we have seen it all folks. Louisiana rapper and all-around thug, main music, has threatened to kill President Donald Trump because he's afraid he will take his mama's food stamps, which former President Barack Hussein Obama promised them. On the same week, the music was visited by Secret Service for posting a video to his Instagram account where he, and a gang of thugs, showed off a stockpile of weapons, he released the video threatening Trump. Yes, folks, this is what it's come to, the Baton Rouge, Louisiana resident Demarcus Davis who goes by main music in the hood says he's going to go to war against the president with his arsenal of guns and hand grenades if Trump takes away his mom's food stamps or makes her work for the benefits. I wonder how many of those guns were acquired legally? Natural News reports. Growth of food stamps 75 times faster than job growth in America. Some 40 years after the so-called war on poverty was begun by liberal Democrat President Lyndon B. Johnson, not only has poverty not been eliminated, but in terms of the percentage of the American population living in poverty, it has actually increased. Yet, utopian master planners in government and public policy insist that the war must go on, as evidenced by the massive number of Americans added to public assistance roles since Barack Obama became president. Welfare growing much faster than work. In fact, despite the president's claims that his policies are creating good-paying jobs, the opposite is true, and the proof is in the numbers. According to the Weekly Standard, which cited government statistics compiled by the office of U.S. Senator Jeff Sessions, Republican Alabama. With the latest jobs report, it is now the case that under Obama, food stamp growth is 75 times greater than job creation, according to statistics compiled by the Republican side of the Senate Budget Committee. For every person added to jobs roles since January 2009, 75 people added to food stamp roles. Since Obama took office in January of 2009, a net of just 194,000 new jobs have been created, that's net, the difference between jobs gained and jobs lost. During that same period, the committee report noted, 14.7 million people have been added to the food stamp rolls. Simply put, the president's policies have not produced jobs. During his time in office. 14.7 million people were added to the food stamp rolls. Over that same time, only 194,000 jobs were created, thus 76 people went on food stamps for everyone that found a job, says Sessions, ranking member of the Senate Budget Committee. This is a product of low growth. Post-recession economic growth in 2010 was 2.4 percent, and dropped in 2011 to 1.8 percent. This year it has dropped again to 1.77 percent. Few, if any, net jobs will be created with growth of less than 2 percent. The report put these dismal figures into perspective. In January 2009, there were 133.56 million Americans with jobs and 31.98 million on food stamps. Today. There are 133.76 million Americans with jobs and 46.68 million on food stamps. The employment rolls have thus grown by 0.15% and the food stamp rolls have grown by 46%, meaning that for every one American who found a job, 75 Americans signed up for food stamps. Meanwhile, during that time, our nation's debt has risen $5.63 trillion. Total spending on food stamps is now more than $80 billion annually, a fourfold increase from 2001. Total spending on federal means tested welfare, food stamps, public housing, social services, cash aid, etc. is now approximately $1 trillion. That amount is enough, if converted to cash, to send every household beneath the federal poverty line an annual check for $60,000. Dollars.